What is markup formatter in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.361.4. So where do we go and take a look at what markup formatter is? So if we go into Manage Jenkins, configure global security, and then scroll down to markup formatter, you're going to see the different options that you have. The default option is plain text. And what plain text means is it treats all input as plain text. HTML unsafe characters like less than and ampersand are escaped to the respective character entries. So what does this really look like? Well, if we go back into Manage Jenkins, configure system, let's create a system message. What we have here is this Jenkins controller is going offline on Friday at 5 p.m. ET. Now we can go ahead and click on preview and we can see what this message is going to look like. Notice that we see here plain text. Keep that in mind for a little bit later. Let's go ahead and click on save. And if we take a look now on our dashboard, the system message that shows us what we just put in for plain text. This Jenkins controller is going offline. But if you're looking at this, it sort of blends into the background. It doesn't really stand out. But taking a look at this message, what I would like to do is I'd like to bold my 5 p.m. ET section. So let's go ahead and go back into Manage Jenkins, Configure System, and let's put a strong tag around our 5 p.m. When we click on Save Now, we see that raw strong tag printed out in the message. And that's not really what we want. We actually want that strong tag to be rendered as HTML. So let's go back over into Manage Jenkins, Configure Global Security, and instead of plain text for our markup formatter, let's select Safe HTML. Now with Safe HTML, it treats the text as HTML and sanitizes it removing potentially unsafe elements like script. So in our case, since we're adding in a strong tag, that should be rendered. So let's go ahead and click on Save, and let's go back to Dashboard and take a look at what the message looks like right now. We can see that the Jenkins controller is going offline on Friday at 5 p.m., and it's strong. But to me, this 5 p.m. really isn't standing out a whole lot. What I really want to do is I want to make this really big and bold, and I want to change that 5 p.m to some other color. So let's go back over to our system message, click on Configure System. Let's do an H1 tag around the whole text, and let's add a style to our strong tag. We'll say color red. Now you'll notice this time, instead of it saying plain text, it now says safe HTML. So from a system message standpoint, depending on what type of markup formatter has been selected, that's what you'll see here underneath the system message block. Let's go ahead and click on Preview so we can see what this message is going to look like. This looks a lot better for what I was expecting to see anyway. So let's go ahead and click on Save. And now we can see on our dashboard, this message is very big. And also the time is called out in a red font. Now there's one more configuration that I want to show you for Markup Formatter. But before we go there, let's go back to Manage Jenkins, Configure System. Notice that the text here is highlighted. So we see syntax highlighting for the H1 and for the strong tag. Let's go back over to our Configure Global Security and we have the option to disable syntax highlighting. So we'll check that box, click on Save. We'll go back to Configure System and now what you'll notice is the syntax highlighting is gone so we just see plain text for our system message with the tags here instead of being in red or green. They're just now in black text. However, this does not affect the render of our system message. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.